let's talk about a big update to the Power BI PowerPoint Add-in. My name is Alice Gonzalez. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, and I'm going to walk you through all of the changes that just happened to the Power BI Add-in to PowerPoint. A year ago, I recorded this video when the embed report option came out in PowerPoint and it was awesome. And they've had a few updates since then that I want to talk about, walk you through, because while a lot of this still stands, they have definitely made it a lot easier to incorporate your Power BI reports natively into your PowerPoint presentations. Now, of course, why do you want to do this? Well, if you are also presenting slides, on other elements and your report, amazing as it is, it's kind of a side to that. Instead of having to open up multiple programs, be in the Power BI service or even pulling up the desktop while also working in PowerPoint, it's really clunky. So having a direct add-in to be able to put your report on a slide, navigate, work with live data has been amazing. So let's go through, run through how we can bring a report into that Power BI add-in in PowerPoint now in 2024. So I have a report, I'm here in the Power BI service. This is a report in a workspace that I've created. I have admin access rights to, and I am going to embed this into a PowerPoint. And that is definitely my preferred option. When we go to export, we have this PowerPoint option right here, and that allows us to embed it as an image, which essentially just gives you a screenshot of your page or embed live data. And that's the one that we want to go with. Because when we embed live data, it gives us this handy little thing, right? This is the same process as it was a year ago. This is the same exact step for step process. We also have this additional option where you can open in PowerPoint and that essentially creates a report for you. Now, if you haven't started your report and you're like, I just need to get my data in and I'll build slides around it, this is a decent option. However, most of the time, probably most of us have some slides already and then we're putting this in kind of as the final piece. So more often than not, I am the one that's going with this copy and grabbing this link right here that will allow us to embed that. Now, the version last year, um, up to this newest update, you would have to go through every single page of your report that you wanted and individually capture that link. So if I wanted to show multiple pages, I would need to put the link specific to every single one of those pages on my report, especially if I didn't have some internal navigation on that report built in, I would have no way to get to those other pages. So I would need to copy the link for every single one of those pages. Now I'm here in PowerPoint, I'm just using a blank slide, but of course you could also pull this in a fully built out slide deck. And I'm gonna bring in the Power BI add-in. Now there's two spots you can check. Here in your home ribbon, you're gonna have this add-in option. Now I will say, unfortunately, some organizations do restrict the ability to add these in. And I hope for your sake, yours is not one of them because it is an awesome feature. Now to click on your add-ins, it's gonna give you a full list of add-ins. I can see that I use this one frequently, so it's at the top of my add-ins. Also for me, because I use it frequently, here in my insert ribbon, I also have it here. I would say check there, see if you've got it there first. If you're not seeing it there in your insert ribbon, on your home ribbon, on the add-ins, go down there to your more add-ins. And this will give you a page of all of the office add-ins. A lot of these are fantastic. Now I will say we're not using this one, this Power BI tile. So go ahead in your search bar, just search for Power BI. And we can see those top two options. We want this second one right here. Basically look for the new logo, right? We don't want that old one. We want that new logo. And you can go ahead and hit add and that will add that on directly to your page. And you can see you still have like header ability to add and design. I can resize this to whatever size of the page I want it to take up. Now, previous to this, I would say the second update that happened for us or the first update that happened um, a little earlier, our only option would be to paste our URL right here. Previously, this whole section here where you were able to pick a report where it showed you reports that you're connected to based of course on that Office 365 login that you're connected with, 
we wouldn't have that. We would just have that link. This was a nice update towards the middle end of last year to be able to not have to go into Power BI first. We can just click that add in and then just natively pick our updates from here. Of course, if we don't see it in there, then we can pick that final option. Just take us to Power BI service, grab the one we need with that export. So I can either grab it from right here. I also have that report here. So either one does the same thing. Once I click on insert, there is a little option right here. This gives people access to the data. Now, this was the new update that we've got recently, and that is giving security, essentially share abilities with our data. So if we want the ability to give people access to our data, we would be able to check that and that will generate a shareable link. Now, if we do not want to allow people to share this data, if this internal, we don't want this PowerPoint with this data getting passed around, definitely leave that unchecked. So now when we hit insert here, or if I click that button, I can see by inserting it, it is going to insert the exact page, right? It's only giving me that one page that I clicked on. I'm going to add another slide to show you the other option. So we're going to add in a new slide. We're going to go to that Power BI add-in. And this time, instead of pasting my link in, I'm going to click right here on this card right here that is linking to the one in the service. So now this time when I click on the link, instead of pasting the URL, I'm going to get a little ability to choose which page I want to link. And then what do I have down here? That ability to give people access. Again, that sharing ability with my data. So definitely pay attention as you're selecting this through. I like and love to use the new kind of cards that are there natively in the Power BI add-in to be able to get the different pages of my report that I want to show but pay attention with that sharing ability. Make sure that it's turned off if you do not want um, to give that ability. There you go. We can see we now have that other page added in. Now, of course, both of these pages will be kind of saved. This is the view. But when I'm inside of here, I'm able to navigate through my data, right? I can click on everything. I can change things bookmarks work, links work, all of that good stuff still functions. My bookmark navigator over here is still working to connect me to my other pages, even though I don't have them natively in this report. So that's a really good feature. Um, all of that is still working and accessible. So big updates with that sharing ability now. You also need to make sure that you have the permission to share the content that you want to insert. Otherwise, it's not going to give you the option to do that. I shared this report from a workspace that I was admin had full rights to. Now, if you are just a viewer and you're trying to embed this, it's not going to allow you to then share with others because that's outside of your general abilities. That could be a little cash if you're like, hey, this option is not showing up for me. Why is that not showing up? Again, you would need to go in to the Power BI service into that workspace to see what your abilities are. So I can see here in that workspace, if I go to manage access, I can see, yep, I have admin rights. I can do anything I want in here. You'd be able to see what you are, what level you are and your abilities to be able to share if you are using that. So two options, you can of course go in to that report if you want to just manually select which one you want and then take that into the Power BI PowerPoint add-in or you are able to just open that add-in and in PowerPoint and use that. I was super happy when I saw that this update came out. I think it is definitely improving the usefulness of this add-in and this tool. And I encourage people, especially when I teach any data storytelling classes, hey, this is vital for your end presentation, right? When you're explaining your data, explaining how you're able to use it, being able to easily incorporate it in a place that you can talk about it when you're mentioning other things and other slide decks and information you have going on. And then being able to share that out with people now is very, crucial and helpful. So give it a try. If you've got questions, leave them below. Definitely don't hesitate to like and subscribe. So that way you will see anytime we have new videos out here on our Pragmatic Works channel, which of course are all about things on the Power Platform.